I saw something extremely interesting online today as I was doing some research regarding the Bible to help a fellow brethren out of mine and it actually struck here here and within my soul for that matter and it goes like this if you love this life you will hate the next life which could actually in fact be the heavenly realm the new life within the new Jerusalem that is however if you deny yourself and you hate this life you will love the next life in other words you will become to love being within the new Jerusalem surrounded by your loved ones as well as God the Father and his son Jesus Christ for that matter so am I actually ashamed to deny myself from myself in order to allow Jesus Christ to live within me not even the slightest because I have everything that I need I have peace I have happiness I have gratitude I have patience But most of all and most importantly the key characteristics that I have which I think a lot of us currently want but we look for them in the wrong places is integrity and I guess humbleness if that's such a word I honestly don't know but the point I'm trying to make is that you don't need anything of this world to essentially fill those missing voids those gaps as you will emotions as i'd like to call them you know we uh we try to find these emotions with worldly pleasures that i can guarantee you will give you around an hour or two moments of pleasure and then you're back to square one it's like well wait a minute why am I going through this current dip, as you will? Why am I feeling crap about myself, if that makes sense? And then you begin to ask yourself, well, maybe if I didn't actually, in fact, idolise anything of this world and put everything and everyone on a pedestal, I will be absolutely fine. So, I believe wholeheartedly that as a new creation, the old is now dead and the new is actually beginning to live again. And I also believe that with this new approach to life, we're also charismatic. We can naturally attract whatever it is that we want, whoever it is that we want, within any given situation, without even having to force our character and persona. Because Jesus Christ happened to be charismatic when he was here 2,000 plus years ago. And I see so many people using this like charismatic approach for the wrong reasons. They use it for worldly pleasures. They use it for lusts of the flesh. When in reality, all it's causing is nothing but misery, self-loathing, hatred, oppression. And only God knows what else upon ourselves and those that we currently inflict it on and if that's the lifestyle that people want to live then again that's entirely your free will and your choice but talking from past experiences it's not going to get you anywhere trust me so to any of you watching this video I can pray you know I can only pray to God that you take something from it and learn from it in other words, you're dying to your old life, you're dying to your old ways by denying yourself and spiritually picking up the cross, following Jesus Christ. So essentially you're living more holier and you're living within all of Christ's ways, if that makes sense. And if you focus on that, then Essentially, you could, like I said, attract anything and everything as long as it's within correspondence to the King James Bible, Ten Commandments, Judgments and Statutes. And 
as long as it doesn't grieve the Holy Spirit's presence, you're pretty much laughing to the bank. And when I say laughing to the bank, I'm talking the spiritual bank of biblical emotion, if that makes sense. Joy, happiness, and all of these things that we currently try to look for in all of the wrong places. It's all in here, and it's all in here. Money's not gonna satisfy you. Material uh, possessions even, they're not gonna satisfy you. There's only one person on this planet that can satisfy you. Any ideas as to who? I couldn't possibly begin to imagine who. Oh, wait a minute, I take it back. The Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour, who happened to be God incarnate in the flesh 2,000 plus years ago. In other words, God's always been alive. He existed 6,000 plus years ago and then he sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ here on earth 2,000 plus years ago to preach the gospel to expose all evil and all wickedness within man's heart, woman's heart to then give them the chance and free will in order to repent of the sins and to be born again and baptised of the Holy Spirit and once you receive this life and you know this new way in living like I said you could attract the life that you want to live as long as it's within correspondence to the Bible and it doesn't grieve the Holy Spirit what have you got to lose? absolutely nothing I know I am and there you have it folks